Now beyond that, there are what I call visible hybrid shortcuts. And these are a bit more exciting because it gives you access to more commands and features than the power hybrid shortcuts. And on top of that, these are super easy to learn because these are now visible keyboard shortcuts. So again, by visible, you do not need to memorize these to start taking advantage of them as I'll show you in just a second. So these are still mouse plus keyboard combinations, but this time you do not need to hold them down. You simply need to follow the underlying letters and these are absolutely everywhere if you look for them. I highly encourage you to start clicking around and using these absolutely everywhere. And I'll give you a couple of examples. So again, how this works, you're gonna right click something with your mouse and then you're gonna see a sequence of letters which we'll talk about and you simply use your keyboard to access whatever command and feature that you want to take action on. So here's an example of right clicking, just a normal slide um, the slide area in PowerPoint. Notice these underlined letters. These, this is what I'm talking about. So I right click, I get my right click menu, and then I see these underlined letters. And the way to think about this before you get all excited is, you're only still trying to go for things that you use all the time. So if you're changing a picture, if you're sending something back, maybe you don't like the control K for hyperlink shortcut, as you start to right click and come after these commands, one time, two times, five times, 10 times, you're like, oh my God, I'm using this all the time. That's the time to start thinking, you know, actually I'm coming to this size and position dialog box a lot, which note, there's no other way to open the size and position dialog box other than right clicking, hitting Z. This could very quickly give you access to your heights, width, rotation, aspect ratios if you're dealing with pictures, etc. So this is one in particular. So right click Z, size and position is one I use all the time when working in PowerPoint. And it's the only way I know of to get into that format shape dialog box without having to click in through a bunch of stuff. But on top of that, if you start to right click your slides, your tables, your charts, your smart art, your sections, etc., notice all of the different keyboard shortcuts that are now associated with all of those different right click menus. So again, this opens up a wide variety of shortcuts that otherwise, or commands and features that otherwise don't have shortcuts associated with them like resetting your slide, like adding comments, like uh, what else we got here? Collapsing and expanding your sections, which I'll talk about a little bit later as well. So this is a super fast way to get at a bunch of commands and features that most people have no idea um, they have access to. And let me just quickly give you a, an example using the comments because this actually has um, a couple of interesting things to it. So if you right click a slide, you see new comment M. Normally, if you insert, uh, I think it's actually on the review tab, I always right click and do this. So here is on the review tab, the new comment feature. All right, if you're adding lots of comments, maybe you're trying to um, collect a bunch of comments for a deck and then make all, the th make all the adjustments. Instead, you can just right click and hit M, which is going to open up a new comment. So here, you know, change the colors on this slide. Quick note about comments. If you right click and hit M, I'll just do another one. If you right click and hit M, it's always gonna add the comments to the upper left hand corner. So that's just adding a slide level comment. If you select an object, if I right click an actual chart, for example, hit M, it's gonna leave the comment on the chart. So whatever you right click and hit M, right click, hit M, is going to leave that comment on whatever it is you right click and hit M on. So that's just a quick note about comments. From here, if you right click, so here's another set of these visible hybrid shortcuts in D. All right, if you're now trying to go through a slide and you're saying, okay, I did that comment, I did that comment, you just right click, hit D. This is another moment where you are now using a visible hybrid shortcut. So you're right clicking and hitting M to add a comment, you're right clicking and hitting D to, to delete a comment. So that's another super fast way that you can either add a comment or delete a comment using these visible hybrid shortcuts. Another great one, is right click M. So here, even here in presenter view, so I'm in slideshow mode, if I right click, notice N for next, you probably don't need that one because you can just hit enter your arrow keys, but notice that all these different underlying letters have a keyboard shortcut associated with it, including R, if I hit R, will jump me to my presenter view. So right click R will bring me back to my normal view, right click, where is it? Right there, show presenter view, R will take me to my presenter view. If you've never used presenter view before, this gives you a wide variety of options for seeing, oops, I just advanced my slide, for seeing whatever notes you had over here, you can increase and decrease the size, you can click and drag um, this view around, you can see how long you've been giving your presentation, what slide you're on, the next slide example, et cetera. This is a super useful way to not only practice your presentation, but to see what you're presenting on your, on your screen, and you can project 
um, to someone else. So I'm just gonna right click and R to come back to the normal view. So this is a super fast right click, right click R to go back and forth between the slideshow and the presenter view. That's again a visible hybrid keyboard shortcut and there's no other way to jump between those two views like that. Another great one to look at is the add section shortcut. And this is an interesting example where you do have these visible hybrid shortcuts. So right click AA, so that just means you have to hit A once and A a second time. You also have a hold shortcut, which is just control left carrot. So let's just quickly look at this. So I am here in PowerPoint and I want to add a section. Let me just close my comments. If I right click and say um, AA, there's my add section. Notice as I hit A, there's two A's. So if you have a right click menu with a duplicate slide, AA, we already talked about this control shift D is the, is the control shortcut or the hold shortcut. If you have an underlined letter twice, it's gonna basically um, jump between the two. You can either memorize that, and know that you always want to right click AA and then hit enter, all right, to add a new section. I'm gonna right click and remove that section. Just hit E which has jumped me way further in my deck than I want to go. So you can see I've actually broken this entire thing out into sections. Let's come back in here. I didn't mean to do that. Here we go. So right click AA, we'll add a new section this way. You could also just control left caret on your keyboard is another way to add a new section. So in this case, I prefer this right click um, left caret, but if you rarely add sections, um, this would be another way to do it is just right click AA and find it over here. One of the benefits of sections since we're just talking about this right now is besides allowing you to collapse and expand and I'll talk about I have the collapse and expand icons up here on my um, quick, quick access toolbar. Another advantage of this is if you control P to print and you come into the print dialog box, notice if I scroll down, so I just open up the print all slides Instead of trying to print a custom range, if you name the sections of your slides based on who's supposed to be working on them, you can basically come in here, select a section, and only that section of slides will print. So this is another useful way to use um, sections in your short in sections in your PowerPoint decks to quickly um, work on your deck. And we'll talk about those a little bit later as I show you some of the other shortcuts that I'm going to help you set up. One last thing to think about as these visible hybrid shortcuts is some of the dialog boxes work a little bit differently. So the dialog boxes, you might see these underlined letters, like this is the setup slideshow. So if you use the shift plus the reading view to open this up, if you wanna fast track these, this is the old, old, um, shortcut system for PowerPoint before 2016, I believe, you do need to hold the Alt key and then you need to hit the underlying letter. So you can't just hit the hit the A to select all, you'd have to hit control, um, Alt A or Alt L or Alt S or Alt N. So that's just something to keep in mind if you find yourself in a dialog box and you're trying to hit the underlying letter and your, your computer's just making a pinging noise. So those are your hybrid visible keyboard shortcuts and basically the base of our shortcut mountain. So again, these are mouse plus keyboard combinations. You do not need to hold them down. All you're looking for is the underlying letters or the underlying numbers. And you, I really encourage you to look for these everywhere because you're gonna find them on your charts, your tables, your sections, your thumbnails, your slide sorter views, your slide master. These keyboard shortcuts not only open up a whole range, all right, of commands and features that normally don't have keyboard shortcuts associated with them, you're gonna discover all sorts of fast and easy ways to use them.